All right, let's learn about the Aztec. So one thing that's really important to keep in mind with the Aztec is that their view of God is really different from ours. Uh, the Aztec gods were not kind, loving gods like most Western cultures believe in. Uh, they believe that their gods had actually created and destroyed the world uh, four times already. And so in, in Aztec beliefs, right, this is the fifth time that the world has been reborn. Uh, this is the fifth time you have the sun. And the job of the Aztecs and their religion, their, their theology was to keep their angry gods happy and to prevent the destruction of the earth and its people. So a pretty high stakes game. And you can understand Aztec culture a lot better if you keep that in mind that instead of like God is helping them, you can pray to God and get, you know, answers that God hates you and wants to destroy you. Why does God dislike the Aztecs so much? Well, they started as the Mexica and they left their homeland and lived as nomads for about 200 years. They had angered their god, Huitzilopochtli, and they had to keep moving uh, until they found their land of destiny. Uh, you can see here, this is the sacred tree in their homeland, and they actually destroyed the sacred tree, so they had to flee their homeland, uh, and, and then they were on the move for the next 200 years. They end up in the Valley of Mexico, which is one of the most uh, fertile parts of Central America. Uh, you can see it's surrounded by mountains and jungle and desert. And so this valley is, is, was really the best location to settle. Uh, the fact is, though, that the land was already taken when the Aztecs arrived. So uh, many different groups lived in the central basin of the Valley of Mexico, and the Aztecs started off uh, as servants and mercenaries for some of these, these groups. Uh, after they angered some of their neighbors uh, through human sacrifice and other shenanigans, uh, they had to flee to uh, islands on Lake Texcoco. Now this, at in the beginning was a terrible place. Uh, the water was salty and marshy. It wasn't very good for agriculture, uh, difficult to get clean, fresh water. But as they developed it, and in time, it became an excellent defensive position. So how did they fix and how did they build up Tecnochitlan? Uh, it was through engineering. They built aqueducts and uh, causeways into the island. They reclaimed land. Uh, and with, with more land and with fresh water, uh, they ended up being extremely powerful. And so they went from being hunted and hated by their neighbors to dominating all the surrounding cities. Uh, by 1500... Tecnotitlan uh, was actually larger than any city in Europe. It had, uh, you know, better sanitation, uh, cleaner water. It was a much healthier place to live than any of the, the European cities at the same time. So the Aztecs, as late arrivals on the scene, were heavily influenced by other Mesoamerican societies. The uh, oldest, uh, the Olmec, uh, are here, and you can see that they had quite a, a long and spread out trading network. Um, their sculptures uh, are still found and, and considered by some archaeologists to be the, the most sophisticated in Central America, even though, you know, we're talking but a civilization went from uh, 1200 BC to 300 BC. Now, the Teotihuacan and